Adobe's release is three times the size of Microsoft's release. That's a lot. Let's talk about it on the patch report. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Patch Report for June. I am Dustin Chavez, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative and our unofficial Patch Wrangler. We've got a lot to talk about. It's a really big release from Adobe, but a really small one from Microsoft. So let's get right into it. So Adobe has 10 patches with 165 CVEs. I think I counted that right. There's a whole bunch of them. The good news is, is that none are under active attack and none are publicly known at the time of release. So good news for us. Also, uh, Experience Manager is really where most of these lie, and most of those, so it's 143, I think, I might have miscounted, 143 CVEs addressed, 142 of those are cross-site scripting bugs. Okay, great, so th there's that. The other probably big one is Commerce, which is 10 bugs, and of course, if you're using Commerce, that means you're getting money, and that's the sort of thing you should pay attention to. So moving on to Microsoft, we have 49 new CVEs today in the standard release of you know, whatevers uh, with a few third party ones and some Chromium ones that brings it up to 58 total. Uh, eight of these bugs came through the ZDI program, including and finally some of the ones from Pwn to Own back in March. So thank you, Microsoft. We appreciate that. Only one critical bug today, and that is in the message queuing service. Now, this is really interesting because we've seen a bunch of these bugs before. Uh, and there was a queue jumper last year, but I don't know how many servers or you know, things that are internet connected are actually running this service. I think the number is really low. Uh, so I don't think that it's that critical for our overall safety, that sort of thing. However, it is wormable between those systems that do have message this message queuing service enabled. So that's TCP port 1801. Check your stuff, make sure that you don't uh, get hit with that. Next up is an Outlook remote code execution vulnerability. Hooray, preview pane is uh, an attack vector. I know uh, this one is weird because it does require exchange credentials, but let's face it, if you've got a buck 98, no dark web uh, access, then you can get exchange credentials pretty easily these days. This one is not direct code execution. However, it will allow an attacker to load a malicious DLL file on your system. Presumably, they would come back and then do some sort of DLL hijacking using that malicious DLL that they just placed. Pretty interesting. I mean, anytime the the, the preview pane is an attack vector, it gets uh, some attention. And this one is probably my favorite. It is the Wi-Fi driver remote code execution vulnerability. And all it takes is a malicious uh, Wi-Fi router to send a packet to something with a Wi-Fi adapter. Doesn't have to be in any special configuration. Uh, it does have to be in range, so this is uh, adjacent rather than network on the CVS rating. But if you are in range of a malicious Wi-Fi router in a, on an affected system, boom, they could get uh, they could get some code execution. Now they do list this as exploitation less likely. I wouldn't take that chance. Something like this is going to get a lot of attention from researchers. Uh, it's it's obviously a really cool thing that just sending Wi-Fi packets you can take over somebody's laptop. I mean just the airport coffee situations, just, oh, oh, chef's kiss. Yes, great bug, great bug. Moving through here, you can check out the uh, the table. I do wanna call out the, the little cross symbol here. That means there's extra work to do, especially with this DSVM, so it's not just a straightforward patch. Uh, so definitely take a look at those very closely. We have only one public, publicly known bug this, this month, and it's this bug from actually 2023. Microsoft is now just including it in their business. So that's all it is. Uh, no other criticals to talk about. So we'll look at the other uh, code execution bugs, code execution bugs. There's one for Office that looks kind of weird. It says that preview pane is an attack vector, but also uh, user interactions required. I'm not, I'm not sure what that would do. Um, but uh, there are a couple that read more like elevation of privilege because you have to be already executing code on a target and then how do you yeah anyway so there's nothing huge there uh though the one for dynamics 365 has authentication auth is required for a lot of these two. Oh, there are two other wi-fi related bugs uh similar to the one i already addressed however that these require that the network map functionality be running on the target so i 
don't have that running on my system all the time, but if you are net mapping your networks quite a bit, that could be a problem for you. Uh, over half of the uh, updates this month actually deal with elevation of privilege, privilege escalation, however you like to say it. And most of those, uh, it's just a user logs on, runs specially crafted code, and you get system level code execution. Um, there's not a lot that's really interesting here. The bugs for when log on are somewhat uh, curious because they could allow an attacker to replace a valid file with specially crafted file content. I'm not sure what you would do with that, but uh, intriguing. Uh, and then one of the kernel bugs could actually be a container escape. That's pretty nifty. Um, there's uh, you know a few more of these, nothing to really get excited about. Again, the Azure bugs, you're gonna have to do some extra work besides just applying the patch to make sure that you're up to date, make sure that you do that. Um, and then there's three information disclosure bugs. One's random memory, that's interesting. Uh, the bug in Dynamics 365 could allow attackers to exfiltrate data. That's cool. And the bug in cryptographic services. Hey, let's take a guess. There's an information disclosure bug in cryptographic services. What could you disclose? Well, cryptographic secrets. There you go. Uh, specifically, it's in key guard keys, uh, which are usually very hard to persist, uh, meaning that they're generally one use only, but that's about it. So, you know, nothing, nothing exciting there. A few DOS bugs, uh, nothing exciting there as well. There's one in DHCP server, but if you have your DHCP server set up for failover, you're not affected. Still apply that patch anyway. And that's it. Like I said, a very brief uh, patch Tuesday. School's out. Now the patches are out. And now this video's out. So congratulations. Hey, we will be back in July 9th. That is Patch Tuesday then. It is an early one throughout the month. So definitely come back then and we'll have the latest for you. Uh, and as always, like and subscribe, compose a comment. What uh, What's meaningful for you with these uh, videos? See if they help. Let me know. And uh, if not, I hope to see you next month. And may all your reboots be smooth and clean.